All right, you're in my seat. Come on, you're in my seat. Get down. Come on, get down. You're in my seat. See if we want to be out here together. This is my spot. Come on, get down. You can have over there. That one has like arms so you don't fall off. Come on. You can have over here. Come on, get down. Up you get. You can have that one. Yeah, you can have that one. Okay. Up you go. Get up there. There you go. That one will be safer for him. <sighs> hey guys. Thanks for joining me. I wanted to um, bring you out to this awesome spot here. We have a surprise guest today. Mr. Humphrey is going to be joining us. All right, Mr. Humphrey. Good boy. He is my English Bulldog. Anyways, I'm just out here under the covered area on my patio. Today is November 27th and I bet you it's 15, 16 degrees in here. I've had to move all my orchids in from the, the cold snap we had last week and we have another cold snap coming this week. It's probably five or six degrees outside right now. Are you okay? But um, yeah, it's just wonderful. I love this space. So it still feels a little bit tropical. There is a, a Tasmanian tree fern, some black bananas, a little sago palm there, as well as a few carnivorous plants tucked in there just to give it a little bit of a, a look. I have my coffee here. And it is just simply wonderful. It's bright and sunny out. And yeah, so there's some serious chainsaws going on in the background. I don't know if you can hear those or not, but sorry if you can. It's really kind of ruining the peace out here, but whatever. Feels like a spring day. So what I was going to show you guys today was a few of my favorite orchid books that I have. I have quite a few books, but um, a few are a little bit... Um, more of my favorites than others, so I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer and let you have a look at these. There you go. Good boy. Adjust the zoom on the camera a little bit, and um, the one thing about being the one man show there, you're on a tripod and you're actually in the hot tub right now. Because on this side over here, it's wonderful. Um, there's a nice triangular shaped hot tub. I don't think I've ever shown you guys it, but it's it's absolutely wonderful. I spend so much time out here with it. Um, yeah, in the evenings and in the morning sometimes. And this is new, so I'm not used to having this at all. We got this last summer. It went up around June, maybe. And for the most part, the curtains here that are included with it, we never used them until the weather got cold. Uh, it comes with mosquito netting. We used that for the summertime a little bit when we would have dinner out here. This is a 10 by 14 area and it's about 7 feet tall there and 8 feet tall over there so it's nice and roomy. But anyways, yeah, you're being a good dog. Oh, that's gentle. That is a gentle dog. Oh, good bully. Humphrey's our rescue bully. We got him a year and a quarter ago. He was um, a little bit reckless at the time. He's really calmed down some. He has some quirks to him, as you can see. Do you have anything to say about that? He didn't know anything when we got him. Didn't know the word no, didn't know the word sit, stay. He couldn't go on a walk, he couldn't do anything. The poor dog um, really had had a sheltered life. So he's adjusting quite well, aren't you? Anyways. We didn't teach him to sit in the chair, he just sort of, um, he's a climber, so we were sitting in the chairs and one day he just decided he's going to come up and sit in the chairs as well. So I thought today, since he was out here anyways, we might as well if we provide a chair for him, he's definitely going to sit in it. Yeah, you're gentle, aren't ya? So, as I said, I do have a lot of orchid books, but um, these were some of the books that I found the most helpful at the time. Um, Orchid books, you you know, depending on when you get it in your sort of um, orchid hobby, 
A book is going to be more or less efficient and effective. You're going to learn more from some books than others. What is works well for me, um, works well for me just out of personal preference and the fact that it was just good timing. I got these books when I needed to get these books. I have some other books too that I think at the time they were either a little too advanced for me or not advanced enough by the time I had read all the other books and learned quite a bit already. So anyways, let's get started with um, my favorite book here. This was the very first book I ever got. I'll put some um, descriptions in the in the text below. But this is a Miracle Grow Complete Guide to Orchids. And it's an amazing book. It's um, worked really well for me when I was first starting out. Chapter on Understanding Orchids, Repotting Orchids, Naming Orchids, <clears throat> Planning a Greenhouse. I got this book before I had my greenhouse. Um, talks about light and humidity and temperature, watering. And after you go through the, um, the basics, here's a section on potting. It gets into um, flasking and insects and pests. And then it actually gets into the actual species itself. It has um, them listed in alphabetical order. Now, of course, it doesn't have all of them, but it does have quite a few different orchid species in there. Uh, it's fantastic for beginners. I was overwhelmed with how many orchids there actually were. I had no idea that um, there were that many orchids out there. Myself, like a lot of you guys, um, you know, Realize there's Phalaenopsis and maybe um, a Catalea and a few others, Cymbidiums, but um, you didn't realize just how many orchids there were out there. At least I didn't until I found this book. And then the book became more like a wish list. And I've checked off quite a bit of the wish list. There for a few um, years, I could never find a Mastivalia. It was always on my wish list because it was in this book. And um, it took me a long time to get my hands on some. Now I have dozens and dozens of them and same with Dracula orchids they were one of my favorites in this book they look so amazing and you can never find them anywhere but anyways that was my number one book it helped me out the most miracle grow complete guide to orchids oh you're being so good and quiet do you have anything to say whatsoever no oh, you're gentle gentle so that's the first book and these books aren't like the first, second, and third book I got. They're just the books I got that um, I've gone back to the most or have found the most useful at the time. This book here, I can't remember where I got it from or how I found it, but um, it's called Bloom Again Orchids. It's by Judy White and author of Taylor's Guides to Orchids. It's 50 Easy Care Orchids that flower again and again and it just so happens all the orchids that are in here it doesn't deal much with um general care every are you okay you're foaming at the mouth yeah you're getting you're gonna drool soon so anyways yeah. it seems like they give two pages a left and a right to basically every orchid so there's ascus into hybrids and it gives um a little bit more detailed care on the very specific orchids um, brasses and it gives like particular um, oncidiums as opposed to oncidiums in general so Catalea chocolate drop for example splash petal Catalea I have this one it was my first Catalea here um, so it goes into some detail and it's written um, the author is really great the way she writes it um, it's written as to be a conversation as to as opposed to being just informational so she has a few quirky sentences in there for a few of the different orchids. Brings a bit of a smile to my face. But anyways, this one is called Bloom Again Orchids, and it was absolutely fantastic. You know, Ontocidium Tiger Crow, Oncidium Gower Ramsey, Oncidium Sherry Baby, full page on Oncidium Sherry Baby. Talks about growing it, what it needs, if it can grow on the windowsill, and how to grow it. It's um, just a really good book, Oncidium Twinkle, Paths, so like Slipper Orchids, Phalaenopsis of course are in there, um, and then a few others that you don't necessarily, necessarily see as often. Um, but yeah, very good book, I've referenced it a few times. This 50 um, easy to care for orchids turned into 50 orchids that had, all were on my wish list. 
Um, she did such a good job at, at writing them up and and started teaching you about them. Good boy. Aren't you being good? Oh, and the last one. Mm. I'm trying to take my time out here. As much as I want to get this video done for you guys, it's just so nice out here. Oh, it's wonderful. It's going to be nice. Um, I haven't experienced this in the springtime, but when the sun has a little bit more heat in it and uh, it's still cold outside, this is going to be just a fantastic area um, to utilize. I love how wide it is. So this last one here, it's um, called Understanding Orchids by William Kalinia. Hopefully I'm saying that right. It's a hardcover book. I paid a little bit more for it. Um, it's similar to the first book in the way that it goes through um, in quite um, a lot of detail stuff like media in that. This has a huge section on individual medias and, and what they are. Coconut husk, uh, peat moss, chunky peat, fine charcoal, gravel, perlite, alifer, different mixes, stuff like that. And it has a whole bunch of generalized sections on repotting and care for orchids in general. Talks about lighting and humidity in quite good detail. This um, is a 257 page book there approximately. Goes into detail about fertilizing, stuff like that. And then at the back of the book, it has similar to the first one, where it has a whole bunch of different species of orchids. Let's see if we can get back there. And again, it basically turns into like almost like a wish list for me. Just beautiful, beautiful orchids. With small write-ups, there's usually two per page, basically. So there's... But it talks about a few different kinds of brasses and spider orchids and stuff like that. Um, and again, it turns into a real wish list for you. But I found this book I went back to again and again. It had a few different ones in the first ones. I think it probably has a better selection, or at least a different selection. It has um, a bit more on like Dracula culture, which is one of the orchids that I like. And yeah, so my three favorite orchid books, not in any real particular order, other than the first one was the first one I got. And probably reference the most and yeah so I'm glad you guys could stick around and um, happy that you stayed till the end because if you're watching this it means you stayed till the end do you have anything to say about that mr. Humphrey he was a good um, co-host today so make sure if you uh, thought he was a good co-host you thumbs up the video if you have any comments or that about these books or um, about the space or anything like that, you know, make sure you comment as well. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button because there's going to be lots more fun, exciting videos about um, me and my surroundings and, and everything else. So thanks again for joining me. Mr. Humphrey, you have a little drool happening there. Are you sleepy? Yeah, you know, you're on camera, right? <laughs>